So I have the DCC controller here, which is connected to my PC and to the power. I have a servo controller, which I'll use for testing on. And I have the Megapoints um, DCC module here. So hopefully we'll knock up a little test configuration and you can see how easy it is to do. The first thing I'm going to do is attach this to the track side of the connector, which hopefully you can see in focus now. So I'm just going to attach it here and then we should be wired up. Connect one. And the second. We've already got a flashing light. Let me redo that properly. So we can see that the Megapoints DCC module is actually running. It can see power and you see the little green light flashing. Now I've got the light on the left flashing because I want the unit in simple mode. So in simple mode, it gives me 12 accessory addresses. So here's the Railmaster from Hornby loaded. Um, there's no track set up at this point. So what I'll do, I'll just configure a couple of points. So I'll go into the track setup, bring this up, and let's recall my almost blank page, which is labeled here, Megapoints Trest 1. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a turnout, that will do, drop it there, add a straight line, drop it there, another turnout, it's a bit more the same for simplicity, 2, straight line, 2, 3, turnout, 3, another straight line and finally one more turnout which we can plonk here. So far so good. So all I need to do now is select how I'm going to control it. I'll go to this menu down here and I'll add these buttons. So I've got a pair of buttons and I'll bring them to the first turnout like so. I'll take another set of buttons and we'll drop those onto the next turnout. So basically I'm giving it a method of control. And these will be the screen buttons at this point that we push to move the points. And four, there we go. Now the magic here is you right click on one of these buttons and for type, simply select something with a single port. So what I'm going to do is select the very bottom one, ZTC302 point motor with decoder. And I want the addresses on my controller to start at one. So I'm going to select port one for the first one. And I'm done. For the second one, right click. I'm going to select port two. Go to the list and select the ZTC from the bottom. Right click on the third. Let's give that address three. And the type again at the bottom of the list is the ZTC. And finally the fourth one, which will be port number four. And it is the ZTC from the bottom of the list. And I think I'm done. So what I'll do now is save that configuration. Do I want to save it? Yes. And close. And there it is on the screen in front of me. So all being well, when I click a button and connect the servo controller, uh, will be in good shape. So I'm going to turn the servo controller on and plug it into the DCC module. And if I've got this right, I should be able to throw these points one way and the other. There we go, one way and the other, one way and the other. And what I'll do now is I'll just reposition the camera so you can see that happening. So here's my DCC module hooked up to the servo controller and the Hornby DCC module. So because I've set this up one, two, three, four, what I'll do is I'll press and hold the address button till the light stays on and I'll toggle on screen address number one and you can see it's gone out, it's now learnt it. So as I click the buttons on the screen, you can see the points moving two, three, four. Three, Four, three, two, one. I hope this has proved useful and uh, will provide you with a quick platform to get going for the Hornby Railmaster software.